Hi everyone, I'm going to do a video demonstration or a video in service uh, and talk about the Titan long term dialysis catheter from MedComp. It's a great step tip catheter if you're in uh, using step tips. Uh, it's 15.5 French, comes in a variety of sizes, comes with the air guard sheath and a stiffening stylet to aid in doing catheter exchanges. And I just wanted to kind of go over the kit with everyone so they can see what a kit actually looks like for this catheter. In case they're uh, forced to use one during this COVID situation. And a lot of docs are having to use products they're not that familiar with. Because they kind of use whatever they can get in their inventory. Luckily MedComp right now is doing well with its inventory. We're trying to keep up with the increased demand across the country actually globally we're a global company uh, so you might run out of your other catheters from other companies such as barter angiodynamics if you do and uh, you get a hold of some MedComp products I just wanted to make sure that you're familiar with them I know it's very important to be familiar with the tools you're using in the lab and this particular catheter this is a basic set right here this particular catheter is the Titan HD you can tell it comes with the things you're probably familiar with. You have a J wire here, uh, O3A J wire. It has markers on it if you use those. A lot of people don't, but if you need them, they're there. And it also is uh, unique in the fact that it has an LLT tip if you like that, or a J tip on the other end if you use that. Most people, I guess, go with the J tip, but if you need to, you have the LLT on the other side. It comes with your catheter, it comes with caps. Tegaderm, your IFU and in other information labels, uh, scalpel, dilators, and then sheath. And this is a, we updated it a few years back. It's a really nice sheath. It's got a valve in there so you can minimize the uh, risk of air embolus. It has a great uh, taper on this sheath, actually, so it goes in rather smooth. I've been with some physicians working in the lab and they don't even use the dilators although I'd recommend using the dilators there's many people out there that do not use them because this sheath goes in so easy even though it's a 16 French peel away the catheter has your usual red and blue lumens here with the priming volumes on the clamps uh, one thing unique to uh, this Titan as well as some of our other MedComp catheters is it comes with a st stiffening stylet or a fast track stylet that help aid in exchanges. It's on this catheter, it's through the blue lumen. It has a little label here. It says do not clamp over the stylet. Reason being is this uh, clear plastic stylet uh, can be kinked with this clamp. And if it gets kinked, that'll be harder to get the wire through during the exchange. In the labs I worked in, we always use stiff glides, but you can use this pretty much any wire you want. You can use it. Just don't clamp it on the blue. So if you're doing an exchange, you want to just go ahead and make sure that that's snug on the lower lock there. Flush and clamp the red. Don't clamp the blue, as it says on the tag. It has a rotating uh, suture wing, which is a nice feature. If you put this catheter in, and in a week or two, for whatever reason, they're in dialysis or on the floor, and they're having uh, sporadic issues with their treatments, you can go ahead and just kind of rotate it. Uh, without cutting the sutures, which is a nice feature. Sometimes in, inside the patient, these catheters, these step-tip catheters can you know, work their way around to where they're kind of sitting like that and can be getting sucked up against scar tissue that's there or a ledge of some sort. So if that ever happens, you can go ahead and rotate it without cutting the sutures. Nice feature. And you can see the tip design of this catheter that's why we call it a step tip because it kind of looks like a step there it has side holes it has a unique design here that uh, kind of allows for better blood circulation large uh, distal and proximal holes with side holes you can see how the stiffening style that comes out the end so you can put this over a uh, guide wire 035 038 whatever you want to use it comes with an 038 but you can use an 035 and then that allows you to be able to fit this you know through the tract and up the IJ uh, venotomy site and down into the IJ into the right atrium or if you're going femoral trans lumbar we also sell it in 55 centimeter lengths for that 
the stylet just kind of helps compared to catheters that come without a stylet. This one kind of stiffens it up for you so you can get it through that scarred chest wall or uh, IJ site uh, a little easier. So hopefully that stylet makes your life a little easier if you're doing an exchange. If you're not doing an exchange, you're doing a fresh placement, you're just going to take the stylet out when you open your container here. Just get rid of it, flush and lock both lumens, and then go ahead and place your catheter, as I'm sure you're all very familiar with. Uh, stick the IJ, uh, make a little incision over the IJ, stick it, get access, and then this, uh, our tunneler here goes into the distal tip and this nose cone kind of slides over here to protect the proximal tip so you don't pick up any tissue or fat or whatever in there or damage it. The surfaces are laser cut on these catheters so they're smooth which also minimizes fiber and tissue growth. All of our catheter tips for dialysis are like that. It's a good feature of MedComp's products. Minimizes tissue growth, platelet aggregation. So that would just slide over that to protect it so you don't damage it. Tunnel it up through the chest wall or groin or, or lumbar region. Through the venotomy site, take off the tunneler, and then go ahead and stick it through your sheath into place. And there you go. This is the Titan Step Tip 15.5 French long-term dialysis catheter from MedComp.